If you ever saw the body of a whale falling through the ocean, it is one of the most haunting things you could ever see. The giant body moves slowly. Pieces of skin drift off like paper, and a trail of blood stretches upward for miles. The deeper it sinks, the quieter it becomes. No light, only the dark weight of the sea pressing down. And yet even here, scavengers are waiting. Because the moment the remains of this whale touch the ocean floor, the real feast begins. All kinds of sharks tear chunks from the body. Hagfish wriggle through the eyes. Crabs and amphipods crawl through the wounds like tiny surgeons. But none of them finish the job. What remains is a pale, massive skeleton surrounded by eerie silence. And that is when something else begins to move. From the darkness, thin red threads start to appear, waving softly like seagrass. They sprout from the bones themselves. At first glance, they might look like plants or coral, but they are not. They are alive. These are Ossidax, also known as zombie worms. Creatures so strange that scientists only discovered them in 2002. Unlike most worms, Osidax does not crawl, swim, or even have a mouth. It does not chew or bite its prey. Instead, it dissolves its food. These worms feed by releasing acid from their roots, acid that melts the bone's surface, breaking down the fat and proteins trapped inside. Then using hidden bacteria living inside their bodies, they absorb what is left. Imagine if you touched a piece of meat and it simply began to disappear. That is what this worm does. If it could touch your arm, it would not bite. It would quietly eat you, one cell at a time. Each Osidax female grows like a living flower. Her upper body has soft red plumes that wave through the water. These are her gills, pulling oxygen from the sea. Below her, a long green stalk connects to the bone. From there, dozens of thin root-like tendrils spread out, digging deep into the skeleton. Inside those roots, the bacteria do their work, digesting the oil and turning it into food the worm can use. When scientists first found them on a whale carcass off California in 2002, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. A whole colony of worms covered the bones like a red carpet, each waving gently in the current. In total darkness, the skeleton looked as if it were covered in bleeding hair. Osidax doesn't just survive on whale bones. Whales are their favorite meal. Later discoveries showed them living on the bones of fish, dolphins, and even sharks. They can appear anywhere in the deep sea where a large animal's remains drift down. Their spores float unseen, waiting for death to fall from above. And when it does, they bloom. The females are the ones you see, but inside her body live hundreds of tiny males, each no bigger than a grain of sand. They don't move, they don't eat, and they never see the outside world. Their only purpose is to fertilize her eggs. They exist in complete darkness, part of a living prison that is also their home. It sounds like horror, but this is life at its most efficient. A single whale carcass can feed Osidax colonies for years, even decades. And when the bones are gone, the worms die, releasing clouds of larvae that drift upward again, waiting for another giant to fall. As strange as it sounds, this process, called whale fall succession, keeps the deep ocean alive. Every death above gives life below. And Osidax, the tiny worm that eats whales from the inside out, is one of the main reasons that the darkest parts of the ocean still breathe. 
For years, scientists did not even know this kind of creature existed. We have known about giant squids, anglerfish, and glowing jellyfish, but Osadax remained hidden, because it only lives where death falls. The deep sea is massive and empty. Finding a whale corpse down there is almost impossible. In fact, the first discovery happened by accident, when a remote submarine camera passed over what looked like a strange, glowing skeleton. When scientists took a closer look, they realized the bones were alive. But Osadax is far older than any modern whales. Fossils show these worms existed millions of years ago, long before whales ever swam the oceans. Tiny holes found in ancient bones prove if they once fed on marine reptiles like plesiosaurs. The worms did not vanish with the dinosaurs. They simply waited for the next creatures, big enough to fall to the ocean floor. Those creatures became whales. Evolution gave them new hosts, but the same purpose, to recycle death. In a way, these worms are the deep ocean's cleaners. They turn what is left behind into nutrients, feeding countless other creatures. Shrimp, snails, and sea cucumbers feed on what Osadax leaves behind. It is a chain of decay that never stops. Nothing is wasted, not even bones. Yet the strangest part of this story is how these worms even reproduce. When a whale dies, only a few spores might land on it. But once they do, they multiply fast. Each female releases thousands of larvae, which drift through the ocean like invisible dust. Most will never find another carcass. They will drift until they starve. But the few that do land on bones will create with entire new colonies. The males never leave their female host. They live inside small pockets within her body. There, they shrink and lose all complex features. They turn into what scientists describe as living sperm capsules. They'll never feed or move again. It's evolution's cruelest deal, eternal survival, but no freedom. Inside those bone forests, life feels frozen. The worms don't make sound and light never reaches this deep. The temperature is near freezing. Yet this quiet place, this graveyard of giants, is bursting with invisible activity. Even after decades, some parts of the skeleton still host living Ocedax. It's as if death itself has a second life. There is another mystery remains unsolved, how these worms know when a whale dies. Some scientists think they can sense chemical changes in the water, maybe the scent of oil and decay drifting down from above. Others believe they are simply everywhere, waiting in the dark for years, until luck brings them a meal. Either way, they always find their target. Today, Osadax is known from oceans all around the world from the Pacific trenches to the cold Atlantic seabeds. But most of their lives remain a mystery. We do not know how long they live, how deep their roots can reach, or what they do when all the bones are finally gone. What we do know is this, the tiny worm that eats whales from the inside out is one of nature's quiet survivors. It does not chase, it does not fight, and it does not roar. It waits, and when it finally finds its prey, it turns one of the largest creatures on Earth into nothing but dust and memory. Even now, in the, in the blackest parts of the ocean, there are whale bones lying untouched. Slowly, the worms are waking, spreading, feeding. Somewhere in the silence, another giant is falling. Ossie Dax is waiting for it, just like it always has. If this tiny worm can turn giants into dust, imagine what is feeding even deeper. The ocean keeps its darkest secrets well hidden. You can uncover the next one here.